Hey guys, my name is Jem and welcome to my channel. It's been a long time since I sat here and just talk to you guys talk in front of the camera but it feels nice it feels amazing actually so today is the first episode of my ship life series and we're gonna talk about cruise ship in general so the reason why I'm filming this series is because I believe that this is worth sharing and it's an interesting journey and I've got interesting interesting uh, stories to tell you guys and I'm gonna be able to help you out if you want to work in the same industry and some of you send me questions, so we're gonna answer your questions along the way. But I have a note with me here just in case I forget about the things that I need to talk about. Also, just uh, a little disclaimer I'm not paid by my company to do this to say all these things. These are all based from my experience. So, yeah. Started, I've just started working on a cruise ship, so I've only had two contracts with different companies. I started out with an Asian cruise line and now I'm working on a road cruise. I only had one contract at an Asian cruise line and I just finished one contract with my current company. So yeah, what's my job? I am part of the entertainment department, entertainment team. I'm technically an entertainer. We also call it crew staff. Other companies call it differently. So basically we are the life of the ship, entertainment. So we are in charge of the overall overall activities on board. My job involves a lot of dancing, hosting, organizing. So we have different games, game shows, parties, themed parties. My job involves a lot of guest interaction. So we are in charge from the moment the guests embark until they disembark. So we are also doing embarkation, disembarkation. We meet, interact with guests all the time. Guys, I'm sorry about the background noises. I can't control the neighbors. I'm just chilling here in my bedroom with my iced coffee. So that's my job. I think I'm gonna do more in-depth description about my job on the next series if you're interested. Now, how about the contract? So generally, working on board, you work on an average of 11 hours per day. But I'm fortunate with my job, most of the time, less than that. I work less than that. Sometimes, it's very rare, but sometimes we work above that. Depends on the seasons. We also have different seasons. We have Caribbean, which is like American market. We have English market, South African season. We have Mediterranean. We have Northern Europe. So different minimum of seven months for filipinos at least it varies depending on your country of origin or depending on your nationality but for us filipinos minimum of seven months with this company so it's a contractual job so after contract you go on vacation and then wait for your next assignment and then go to another ship we work every single day for the rest of the contract my schedule is shit because i basically work whole day every single day for the rest of the contract at least seven months i work in the morning afternoon evening most of the time and it's every day so we don't have day off guys imagine working straight for at least seven months it's very tiring when you start working your energy is so so high but then when i reach when i reach my fifth month it starts to go down Salary, I wanna talk about I, I wanna talk about this topic separately. I would just say salary is way, way better than working here in the Philippines. Free accommodation, free food while on board. And your job is basically two minutes, five minutes away from your station. So you don't really need to use you don't really need to use transportation. If you're a good saver, you will be able to save more money compare if you're working on a land base, especially in the Philippines. Now, how did I get here? Why am I working on a cruise ship? I love traveling. I'm so, so passionate about traveling, meeting people, learning culture, learning different languages. Ever since I was a little girl, 
I know that I'm gonna travel the world one day. I dreamt about snow, Eiffel Tower, mountains, and now I'm 25 and fulfilling these dreams and I'm just happy and very, very grateful that I get to see this incredible, beautiful, amazing places mostly for free. And if you haven't seen my previous video, I made a video about my 2019 and I've seen 19, 19 beautiful, incredible countries in seven months. Guys, seven months. We are here in Germany. Guys, this is so cool. I have never seen anything like this before. Welcome to Iceland. Wow, are you kidding me? This is like the most beautiful city I have ever seen. It's crazy beautiful. Today we are in all the Norway. It's so freaking beautiful here. I'm, I'm so fortunate because my first contract in the company, the first ship that I had my contract, they had an amazing itinerary for the entire year so I was able to see the transition between different seasons Northern Europe, uh, Mediterranean and South African seasons they are very different seasons and it's so nice like different people, different personality, different culture, different places it's, uh, it's, it's fascinating, it's amazing I can't even explain to you guys and I thought it's a great opportunity to grow as a person how was the experience? How is it working in the middle of the sea? Is it hard? Is it worth it? Is it lonely? Now every time people ask me this, I would always answer. It's very challenging, but it's fulfilling. It's a tough job working in the middle of the sea. It's really hard. You're away from family, you're away from home, you're away from your comfort zone, you're away from the usual, but it's fulfilling because it makes you grow as a person and you realize you can do things that you thought you could never do before. You become more of yourself. You improve, you grow, you learn new things, you learn new skills, you become independent, you become mature. Ship life is, is like a different world, totally. Totally different world. We have our own rules. So this is what the corridor looks like. You forget about holidays, you forget about birthdays, special occasions. You won't be able to celebrate those occasions physically with your loved ones because you're isolated in the middle of the sea. But of course, everything has pros and cons. You have to be tough, you have to be strong, and you have to be physically and mentally healthy because sometimes it gets lonely, I'm not gonna lie. Because you're away from home, you're away from your family, from your partner, in short, not being able to be physically present with your loved ones. If you have the same dreams, you might want to consider working working on a cruise ship, but you have to be really tough. And now the application process, how did it get here? You can go directly to the direct hiring company or you can go via agency. With the direct application, you go directly to the website, official website of the company you want to work with, and then you submit your resume, do the online application and stuff like that. So they will directly hire you. No agency involved with the hiring interview process. But if you're in the Philippines, you will still go through an agency, well, the company's agency in the Philippines to do all the things before, like pre-departure requirements and stuff like that. But it's still direct hiring. The other one is through agency. So here in the Philippines, we have a lot of agencies. We have Magsaysay, we have Bishop, and we have a lot more. Some accept walk-in where you submit your resume physically. You go to the agency and physically submit your resume, or you can apply also online. But to the agency, online opening, like on Facebook, social medias, advertisements, and stuff like that. These positions are open. Submit your res submit your resume online, and then wait for further instructions. I'm gonna talk more about the application process, how to apply, and stuff like that, on the next series. So that's it. In the meantime, for this video, please let me know, guys, in the comments if you have a specific topic to talk about next time, because I'm also interested about what you guys think about about my job, about working on a working on a cruise ship. When I talk about my ship life with my friends, family and other people, 
you guys have a different perspective and it's so interesting like i want to share more because there's more than there's more to it but like what you see in pictures on my instagram different places beautiful places but you don't have any idea about the 80 percent of what you see in pictures so i hope you guys kind of learned something from this video so if you found this topic interesting don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for your time and we'll see you guys till next time bye and as they say traveling is the only thing that you spend money on that will make you richer